Now, remembering television news legend Mike Wallace and his impact. This afternoon, I had a chance to talk with two of Mike Wallace's colleagues, Morley Safer, the longtime correspondent for 60 Minutes, and the program's executive producer, Jeff Fager, who also serves as chairman of CBS News. Morley Safer and Jeff Fager, thanks for joining us. Morley Safer, what were the qualities that made Mike Wallace what he was as a journalist? There's so many, there, it's hard to uh, tally them all, but certainly aggressiveness, irascibility, um, the uh, determination of a junkyard dog, uh, a love, uh, a, a visible love for what he was doing. And I think uh, all of those things combined uh, were, were Mike on the air, and by the way, Mike off the air as well. Off the air as well, eh? Well, Jeff Fager, I heard your colleague Steve Croft today refer to Mike Wallace as, quote, the first great television news performer. I was interested in that word performer. What does that mean? Well, I think that Mike knew he was on camera. Uh, he was a great performer on camera, but he was really himself as well. You know, uh, one of the amazing things about Mike, I think, that really resonated, it's, it's almost as if his interviews were so good it's almost as if it didn't matter what the story was. You just couldn't wait to hear what he was going to ask next. So he did that extremely well. And I think on television, that is a performance. Uh, you need to have those skills. You know, we all, we all have a, a kind of sense of decorum when you're doing an interview. Uh, Mike created, created his own decorum, which was that kind of relentless probing. And what is remarkable in the first place was how he charmed people to go, go and sit in that chair, uh, people who knew that they were going to be eviscerated sooner or later. And by the way, don't try, <laughs> don't try to hide something from Mike Wallace, because he was going to get it out of you. He once described it as walking, quote, a fine line between sadism and intellectual curiosity. Morley Safer, which side of that do you come down on? <laughs> Certainly the sadism. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scary thought going up against Mike Wallace. Jeff Egger, we think of the early gotcha style or the sting operations, of course, and not everyone loved that. It caused a lot of discussion in the journalism world. But Mike Wallace also evolved from that as well, right? Yes, he did. It was a, I, I think it was a difficult period because uh, they actually did enjoy doing it and it grew the audience uh, significantly. It became you know, such a, a feature and a signature of the broadcast. But I think in later years and actually during it, he realized, you know what, we're doing this more for the drama than for the news value and that's not appropriate. So the idea that someone was going to be sweating in front of a Mike Wallace interview or that he was going to be chasing uh, some bad guy down a hall, uh, I think they realized was much more about performance and drama and wasn't really of any value. Morley Safer, you said earlier that he was a tough guy outside of work. I gather he was a tough guy at the office as well, right? Very competitive. Precisely. I mean, the, the, the Wallace you saw doing one of his toughest interviews is precisely the same guy off camera and he would ask the same rude or if you like or embarrassing questions of me and all of his colleagues um, <laughs> there's a tale that, won't, that goes round and I won't go into detail of one of his colleagues in the men's room where essentially they almost reached, uh, uh, came to blows uh, over Mike's questioning and Mike's comments. That's what he was, and there was nothing that was going to change him. He didn't know how to sugarcoat anything. He just didn't. Well, this was a hugely competitive environment, right? I've heard talk of correspondents stealing each other's stories. <laughs> oh, that, he, he was, that was highway robbery almost every week. Uh, <laughs> And I was usually the victim, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, someone asked me about his own son going into the news business and uh, what that meant to Mike. And I know for a fact it meant that, uh, don't worry, if we're up against him for a story, I'm going to get it. Morley Safe, I heard you speak of Mike Wallace having a sense of uncertainty or even insecurity about his work. That surprised me. Well, it's an insecurity that actually stayed with him, I think, a good part of his life. Mike, because he came from a background of entertainment and commercials and, and fun and games, and then 
decided that that he wanted to put all of that behind him and become a, a reporter, uh, he felt that because he never had the kind of basic training that most of us who have been at this all our working lives had, that he had to go out and prove himself every day that he was for real, that he was a journalist. So there was a certain insecurity accompanying all of that, that uh, bravado that he showed. Jeff Hager, we can't talk about all the successes without bringing up the huge controversies. Most of all, of course, the, the libel suit brought by General Westmoreland. Tell us about the impact that had on Mike Wallace, both professionally and personally. Well, I think that it's pretty well known at this point that it, it really did set off a major depression. Uh, you know, Mike became quite famous and I think gets a lot of credit for uh, taking depression and his own depression very public. And uh, that case, which was uh, a very difficult uh, suit based on a CBS Reports documentary produced by the great producer George Cryle, uh, really took it out of him. And he said so to Morley. It's a part of our tribute to Mike that's going to air on on 60 Minutes, and I think Morley could could expand on that. Go ahead, Morley Safer. Well, you know, it's it's no secret that Mike attempted suicide, and uh, he talks about it as as Jeff said. Um, but I, I think that coming out with his own depression was in itself tremendously therapeutic for him. Uh, and you could see those, us who were friends, could see the difference in him once he, he opened up about it. And I, I think that uh, it, was a, it was a very brave thing for him to do and, and uh, very effective as and you, well. And you know, Jeffrey, I think one of the things that um, shouldn't be lost in that discussion is that Mike, however feisty he would get and ferocious around, around the office, he always had a twinkle in his eye and it was a hard guy not to love. You couldn't stay mad at him. And I think that's just a, such an important part of why uh, it's a big hole for us. We, we miss him because we loved him. And a final word from you, Morley Safer. How would you describe his legacy and importance to TV journalism? The main contribution to TV journalism was to 60 Minutes. I think that without Mike, we would not have the longevity that we've had. We've been on, been on the air now approaching our 44th year, and, which is remarkable in itself. But it was those early, say, first, 20 years where people were tuning in to see what Mike Wallace was up to. Morley Safer and Jeff Fager on the life and legacy of Mike Wallace. Thanks so much. Thanks.